I will show you the top seven Sudoku concepts I learned to overcome very hard puzzles like this. Click below if you want to give this puzzle a go. And with that, it's solving time. So for concept number one, it's one of the most popular strategies and ideas that you'll see in a Sudoku. Check out this cell right here. What can it be? Well, it can't be a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or a nine. So that means there's only one candidate available. It can only be a one. This is called a naked single. And greetings, friend. I've been practicing my solving using a Sudoku puzzle book by Benden. And years ago, a puzzle like this rated very hard in the book. It could have taken me up to one to two hours to finish. Well, I'm going to show you the seven Sudoku concepts I've learned from solving hundreds of Sudokus. It's going to cut your solve time for puzzles like this 70, 80 percent. So let's continue by looking for digit restrictions from one to nine. If you follow the ones and notice this one coming down, column four, column one, and this one cutting across row six, you only have two places for one here in block four. And since they're in the same row, they're a pointing pair. You can't have ones here now. And this is concept number two, the pointing pair. This will extend your solve when you're looking through a puzzle like this. So mark these two, or anytime you have two possibilities for candidates in a three by three block. Because what it does is it tells you now the ones are restricted to these two cells in block five using that pointing pair. And let's move on now to the twos. There's no other marks you can make with the ones. And with the twos, you can see here, we're gonna have another concept here. We're gonna two go in block seven because of this two in column three and this two in column two, there's only one place for a two. There might be some other possibilities here. A two could also be a three or nine, but since the two can only go here in block seven, that is a hidden single. And what you use is called cross-hatching to get to that point. And this is probably the most common Sudoku strategy and way to solve cells. And then the naked single is almost as common. So concept three, the hidden single, you see this all the time. It's one of the fastest ways to solve cells. And so let's continue building upon what we're learning here as we go through these concepts. With this two cutting across row four, this two cutting down column nine, you have a pointing pair of twos now in block six. So twos can't be here. You can restrict the twos to these two cells in block five. And then if you look in block nine with this two and that two, two possibilities for two in block nine. They're not lined up in a row or column, so they're not a pointing pair, but it's valuable to see that you have this restriction and you want to mark it in block nine. It'll help you solve quicker once we solve one of these cells for not a two. The other one you can solve for two right away. Move on to the threes. You might notice with this three coming down and this three cutting across, you have another hidden single three in block seven. And then with this three and this three, mark two threes in block three. Okay, with the fours, this four cutting up column two, you have a pointing pair of fours in block one. And this will lead us to our concept number four. You might notice right here that you have uh, in the column of one, two, five, six, seven, and eight. So you just need a three, four, and a nine to finish column one. Well, since you have the nine in here and here, these two cells can only be a three or a four. So that's a naked pair. And that's my next concept, concept number four, the naked pair. Since the three and a four can only be in these two cells, they can't be anywhere else in the column or the block. So this cell right here cannot be a three or four anymore. It has to be a nine. And so you can solve that pretty easily. And you'll see naked pairs pop up quite a bit. And then after you do that, check out with these fours. Two places for a four in block six. And with these fours, two places in block eight. Move on to the fives. With these fives and this five, two fives in block six. And then block eight with this five and these fives two fives right here. And I'll show you it's nice time-saving tip. You can kind of look around for the restrictions normally, 
But if you look in this cell right here, you see there's a lot of restriction already in the block. There's already five digits filled out. There's five digits filled out across the row. It's worth checking and seeing what can go in this cell. It can't be a one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, or a nine. So this is a nice naked single five. It's kind of hard to spot the naked singles when you're looking for the hidden singles like we're doing or just making the marks. But this will save you quite a bit of time. You can find these types of solves. And some people, they appreciate uh, tips like this so much, they'll actually tip me um, or buy me coffees on buy me a coffee like Gary Mighton, Paul McGee, Catherine Youngkind, Simon Parker, Eric, Lee Reed, James Kirby, Tor, Brands Coding, Andrew, GC9731, Glenn Palmer, Steve Jarvis, Rod, Stephen, Devel Sparks, Samuel K. West, John Jobley, James Bunch, Pamela Cad, Heath Rosa, John, Jeffrey Moore, James Kirby, Glick Schultz, PJA, Jim Bello, William, Simon Sapo, Danica Wald, Thomas Boyer, Mark K, Iskandar, Tom S, Stephen Williams, Louis Balicki, Joaquin Garcia, DJ Swen, Michael Dwyer, DC, Bill, Patricia Mastne, Catherine Lopez, Ingeborg Keen, Robert Langwa, Graciela Jimenez, Dan, and Mark. Or they'll give me super things just right through YouTube, like Captain Mark 4, K2024B8N, and Wayne Sander. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So now this brings us up to concept number five. Since you put a five here, it limits these three cells to three canons. So that's called a naked triple. So it can only be a three, six, or an eight. Nothing else can go in those three cells. So you can remove the three from right there, and you can remove the eight from right there. And you'll see this restricts the eights of these two cells in row one to block two. So eights can't be anywhere else in the block. And you can see with these two eights, it could be like that anyway. And then we can move on from the five to the sixes. With this six, two places for a six in block four. And then in block nine with these sixes, two places for a six. And it's going to get a little tough here. We're going to find a spot where you're going to get stuck. That's why you need to follow these concepts all the way through. We've got through five concepts, the last one being the naked triple. Still got two more to cover with you. And I'll tell you, there's something special going on with the sixes, and I will come back to that. But let's move on to the sevens first. With these two sevens, two places for a seven in block three, and then with these sevens, Two places in block eight. Nothing else with the sevens. Move on to the eights. Uh, these two eights. Can't make any other marks with the eights right now. And then move on to the nines. You might notice with these two nines, you can put nines in block eight. And then in block nine, with these two nines, you can put nines right here. And you want to notice this kind of pattern that a nine can only be in rows eight and nine in blocks eight and nine. What this tells you, the nine has to be here and here or here and here. So where does that put a nine in block seven? Can't be here because it's gonna be in rows eight and nine there. And nines can't be in row seven in either of these two blocks. So this has to be a nice hidden single nine. And you wanna see the impact of that. With these two nines and this nine, you can actually solve this cell for a nine now, displacing that four. Like you saw this last cell in block one for a seven. And then follow along with this seven, the impact on the row is that you can displace that seven, solve this for a seven. And then with this six cutting across, you can put two places for a six right there. And then with this seven, you can put two places for a seven right there. And that is about it. You probably got stuck here because there's something special going on it is with the sixes and a couple of other digits and cells. And you gotta change your focus if you wanna see it. And this is the place where I used to get stuck uh, years ago. And now I have these last two concepts that's gonna get you past the hardest part of this puzzle. Before I show you where to look next, I want you to know that it might be easier than you think to keep your mind razor sharp. I offer monthly reward puzzle packs. The real value is you get to learn and practice techniques that help your brain stay mentally sharp as you age. 
more than 10 million people in the world get dementia each year. But regular puzzle solving, like Sudoku, can build your brain's resilience and give you the cognitive skills of someone 10 years younger. It will help you prevent dementia. Join the Smarty Party. Like my new members, Mike Fry, GC9731, Gary Mighton, Paul Monet, Sebastian Holm, Nick Walter, Bliss, James Kirby, Akash Dulani, Ashish Kumar, Gene O'Quillen, Scott Weingrad, Eric Mullins, Brian, and Mark Speck, and I'll send you my next puzzle pack along with a new one each month. You give me that correct solution, I'll give you a video shout out, just like Elizabeth Smolin, Mike Mott, and Carol Emmerich, who all solved my March reward pack. So, click the pinned comment today because you want to keep a sharp mind, right? What you have to do right here, and this focuses on concept number six, is you got to look down here in row nine. We have some restriction going on here. We have a nice naked pair, 1-8, in block seven. This kind of clues you in. Notice that a 2-4-9 can't be in this cell. And a 2-4-9 can't be in this cell either. So where can a 2-4-9 go in row nine? It can only go in these three cells right here. So this is the idea. It's called hidden candidate. So hidden pair hidden triples. This is a hidden triple 249. Since it can't be here or here, the 249 have to be in these three cells. And so you can block out every other candidate, the ones and eights from those cells. And if you solve the New York Times hard, this is probably the hardest strategy you'll see regularly is these hidden triples. If you only have two, it's a hidden pair. Other way to look at this is you could say, hey, there's a 1, 8 there. If you look at this cell, you might have noticed that it couldn't be a 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or a 9. This was a naked single, 1, 8. Either way, you look at it, hidden triple, naked pair, you'd eliminate 1s and 8s from these three cells. That's very important to notice. And it cleans up the puzzle a little bit, but it doesn't really get you any solves just yet. So very powerful concept number six that I just showed you. You gotta find this other bit. Remember I told you that the sixes were very important? So where can the sixes be in block three? They can be in column seven and column eight. Where can the six be now in block nine? Column seven and eight. So just like we did with the nines, you look at the sixes, where can the six be in block six, right? Or more importantly, where can it be in column nine? Can't be here in block three, can't be here in block nine. So the six has to be somewhere in column nine. The only place it can be is in block six. So this is called claiming candidates. If you have three availability, like we have right here, all these could be a six, that's a claiming triple. If you had one cell filled out or six couldn't be in one of them, that'd be a claiming pair, very common, hard to spot. And if you just had one availability like we do at the nine, that's a claiming single or a hidden single. You can solve right away. You have to see this and combine it with one of the other concepts that I just showed you in order to make the next solve. Because what you do is you're eliminating sixes from these cells because of the claiming triple here. Now keep that in purple. So look across this row, and in this cell in particular, what can this green cell be? Well, can't be a one, can't be a two, could be a three or a four, but it can't be a five, it can't be a six anymore because they're restricted over here, can't be a seven, eight, or a nine. So this is a three, four. Now what you might notice here is you have a three, four here, you have a three, four there, naked pair. This is a naked pair, harder to spot because they're outside of one block. They're in two blocks. That puts a bunch of restriction now on row four. So you can't have a two, three, four, five, nine anywhere else in the row. So it leaves you the one, six, seven, eight. All right. And if you notice right here and here, we're going to be able to make some solves. So this can't be a one, this can't be a seven, 
and it can't be a6 because it's claiming triple sixes. This is actually a naked single eight now. And if you go right here, you'll notice this can't be a six or a seven. That's going to be a one, which leaves you with a six, seven naked pair to finish row four. Huge. You got to find this. And the only way to find these types of solves is to understand all seven concepts that I've showed you in this puzzle. And it applies time and time again to hard puzzles like this. And now what can we do here? after filling out that eight and that six, seven naked pair, because we're not done. You want to look at is the impact on the row, column, and the block. So with these two eights, now you can solve this cell for an eight, solve this for a one, solve that for an eight. And before I show you where to go next, I want to thank you for your support. I donate a portion of my proceeds to AIM. Last month, we raised $229 to stop human trafficking. Learn more about AIM on my Smart Hobbies Instagram page. So now that you've filled out the eight here, and this eight gives you a nice six eight naked pair right there. And with this one, you can displace that one, solve this cell for one, displacing that seven. And we can remove these extra marks. So now you want to hunt down the marks and look at impact on row, column, and block. Since you put an eight here, now check out the impact on the column. You got two, three, four, eight, nine. You know, one, five, six, seven. Well, with the one, five, seven right here, this has to be a six now, which means that's going to be your seven. That's going to be your six. And then you got just a one and five remain with this one. That's got to be your five. That's got to be your one. Awesome. And with this 6 now, you can disambiguate the 8 and the 6 right there. Keep looking for those restrictions and see what you can do in the solves that you can make. Because now you made solve that 1 with these ones. Solve for a 1 right here, which leaves you a 5, 6 to finish row 3. You got the 6 right here. That's got to be your 6. That's got to be your 5. Check out the impact with this 6. That's a 3, and you can finish block 3 with a 5. With this 3 and this 6, that's an 8, and that's going to be your 6. Okay, continue to look at the impact here. With this 3 now, I'm just looking for the marks and see if I can remove them. Once you remove those marks, you remove clutter, and these are one-step restrictions. You know, if you can solve this for 3, you're one step away from solving that cell. We solve this for 3, you can solve that immediately for a 4. And that leaves you with a 2, 3 across row 6 with this 3. There's your three displacing that two. Nice. And then let's see what else we can do here. You'll notice that right here, you have just a two and a three with this three. That's a three. That's going to be your two. And now with this two, you can solve that for a nine displacing this two. And you just have a six and a one here with this one. Pull it on down. That's a one. That's going to be the six. Awesome. Now let's look across where the greatest restriction is. Only two cells remain in row seven. You're missing a one and you're missing an eight. Well, I'm just going to pull that one down. That's got to be the one. That's got to be the eight. And we're just using all those concepts again. Mainly now you're on hidden and naked singles as you finish up these blocks. Okay. And now with these two eights, you know, you can solve for an eight right there. Gives you just a three and a four. Well, you got the three. It actually just gives you a four and a seven right here can't solve the four and a seven yet but with this five you can displace that five solve this for a five displacing that seven now you can solve for the seven and you can solve for the four see how that works as you disambiguate the two four down there displacing that nine okay and we're going to follow up and finish these solves you got a one five six seven eight nine up there you need a two three and a four well i see a three and a four in this Call a four right there. Neat naked triple trick. There's your two. That's got to be your four. And the last digit is a three. Now challenge yourself to apply the seven concepts you just learned to this next puzzle. Thank you so much for watching.